Hey everyone, my name is Sven. Today I want to talk about post forms. With body forms you can create post forms. Actually we have created body forms to create post form. That is the main purpose of body forms. The first step is of course give your form a title. So let's create a title first, call it posts. In the next step we decide the post type. By default WordPress comes with two post types, post and pages. But other plugins can bring in their own post types or you create custom post types by code or with a plugin. In the second uh, option you decide the status if it's published, pending or draft. Same for the comments, revision and we can give it a single name so let's call it post. In the next step we can decide if we want to allow our users to manage their posts from the front end. For this we need to decide a page where the user can find um, all the posts he have created before. For this we create a real endpoint. So it's a true URL. Let's create a my post page as example and continue. Now at step 4 we add all the form elements. By default we all add the title and the content and of course we can add more form elements. We use post and posts have categories so in this example we can use the taxonomy form element and add our categories. You can add a, dis a description like Of course we need to select the taxonomy and we have more options for default, for the placeholder, the order, if it's allowed to select multiple, if the user is allowed to create new. In the next step we are able to create mail notifications. These are normal mail notifications like in the contact forms. So the mail gets submitted and each submit trigger the mail notification. More interesting for posts is a post status change mail notification. This triggers the mail notification if the post status change to draft or from draft to pending review, from pending review to published. This enables you to notify different users or moderators and then they know they need to check a new post. It's not important for our example. So in the next step we can decide if we want to have this public submittable. It's possible to create with body forms post forms and allow unregistered user to submit a form. You also are able to add a login form above the form or under the form. So if a user already has an account, he can log in. The script will also check if a user tries to register with the same username or email and this will get neck recognized. In the rules section you decide who is allowed to create, edit and delete posts. That's it. Now our form gets processed. All right, our form is created. Post forms has more short codes than normal register or contact forms because now we not only want to display the form, we want maybe to display the post lists, a link to the form or a link to the user posts. If we preview our form, we can see our just created form. Let's give it a test. Title and some nice content. Let's create a category. There is no category, but it's enough for this test. All right, our form has been submitted successfully. Let's go back and let's see how it looks for us if we want to see our submissions. And here we can find now our submission. So if I click on edit and if I submit it, my post is submitted again. I can also change the after submission setting to something else. If I go to the form builder, all the settings we have 
added in the wizard are in the form builder and you can fine grad your settings. For example, decide that you don't want a message that you want after submission to redirect to the user's post list. All right, this was a quick overview about post forms. Post forms is a huge um, topic and I like to create more videos in the nearest future. I hope you enjoy the video and it's helpful. Thanks for watching. Thren from Simcraft. Yeah. All right.